Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Joe Matthew, 123survive.com, home of the Combat Nation and the Integrated Martial Development Center. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Today I want to cover three different uh, topics, okay? One is the EDC, the Everyday Carry. The other is the Bob, the Bug Out Bag. And the third is the LTV, which I call the Long Term Bag, okay? Um, you know, first, let me say that I don't believe that you know, one thing is better for one person than the other, all right? Um, there's a lot of people that are buying these emergency bug out bags these days. And, um, you know, I just want to clarify a few things about these because in some instances, in some cases, they're very good. And in other cases, I think that they're a little extreme and they kind of go over the top. So I just want to clarify that, all right? So just hang with me. And we're going to start off by talking about the EDC, the everyday carry, all right? Okay, guys, <clears throat> this is my EDC. My wallet, a multi-tool, and a cigarette lighter. I smoke cigars, so I have a lighter. Inside my wallet here, I have some money, my identification. I get a coffee filter, and I just have a little piece of tin foil, okay? And my multi-tool, which I always have with me all the time. Okay? Right here. So these are the three items in my EDC. Okay? So obviously, my everyday carry is very similar to everybody's everyday carry. Alright? Um, I'm not one to be in the city with backpacks on and, you know, waiting for some disaster to happen. I'm not carrying around bottles of water and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I just don't do that. Alright? Um, I'm not going to live a life of being paranoid that there's going to be something happening. If anything ever did happen in the city, all right, um, I have everything I need right here, okay? Most of the time, if there's a disaster, there's going to be tons of debris, and there's going to be lots of stuff, man-made stuff. And everything you'd possibly need, if you have the knowledge, is right there in front of you. Um, plenty of it, okay? So, for me, an everyday carry is just a multi-tool I just keep with me anyway a cigarette lighter, and my wallet. All right, guys? Next thing we're going to talk about is a bog, a bug out bag. Stay with me. Okay, guys, the next thing I want to talk about is the bog. Uh, bailout bag, bug out bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's a lot of uh, what we call prepping these days. People preparing themselves for some kind of um, man-made or natural catastrophe. All right? So there's a lot of uh, companies out there that make these specific bags that um, individual make up their own as well, but essentially what it is is a 72-hour bag. Um, the government says you need to be able to uh, take care of yourself for 72 hours, so um, companies have taken advantage of this, of the fear and all this stuff, so people are getting together bug out bags. What you find in a bug out bag is basically you'd have a, some kind of knapsack, you'd have uh, maybe some extra clothing, some socks, a uh, flashlight, a wind-up radio, first aid kit. You might have some MREs, meals ready to eat, uh, glow sticks, um, you know, some rope, uh, that type of thing, all right? I don't really carry um, a bailout bag. And by the way, these people carry these things all around the cities. Uh, people put them in their cars. <coughs> For some people... <coughs> They need a lot of things. They might have a family, two, three, four people, so they've got gallons of water. Now, you know, guys, if you have um, a home and, uh, you know, there could be some kind of uh, power shortage and you want to stock up on some food and water, I think that's a very good idea to do that. Uh, I think everyone should be somewhat prepared. But as I said earlier, some people get a little bit, a little bit extreme and kind of go over the top with this stuff. So, I'm going to tell you what I do. It's not really right or it's not really wrong, but what I tend to do, guys, is, like I said, in the city, I don't really carry around a knapsack or a pack or anything full of water and stuff like that. I just don't, all right? The time I would ever ca carry some kind of pack like this is if I am out in the wilderness and I'm tracking or I'm just scouting around, okay? And even, even with that said guy, most of the time if I know it's, uh, I'm kind of local and um, I'm near uh, homes and things like that, I won't even bring a pack. 
also bring is this small little carabiner with some with some uh, paracord on it, a small little flashlight, a whistle, a way to start a fire, some tinder, and my knife. Okay, just a small little little three inch blade. That's it. I do have my multi tool like I always have, okay? And I have my wallet where I have a coffee filter and a piece of tin foil. That's it. Okay, if I'm out local, I don't need anything else. Okay? I can always get to civilization and when you have people in civilization, you have um, equipment and supplies that you can scavenge from. Alright? With that said, next time I would need any kind of pack is if I'm up in the mountain. If I'm going, uh, if there's a hunt going on or I'm going to go hiking and I know that civilization is far away from me. If I'm up by the Canadian border, up in northern Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, and I know that I'm out for a scout, but there could be some things that go wrong. So I, I would carry a basically what I call an LTB, or a long-term bag. Meaning is that if it goes beyond 72 hours and I'm stuck out there, I have what it takes in this bag to be able to hang in there for a while because I'm going to have the uh, tools and the equipment I need to provide for myself without having to bring water and food and all that stuff. All right, guys? So give me one second, and I'll show you what's in what I call my long-term bag right here. I'll break out some of the content, and we'll check it out. And just to show you some of the things that I carry, that would help me out. Okay, guys? So hang with me.